This is the rear wheel of an Appa Baby Vista, and today we're going to show you how to disassemble the wheel so that you can replace the ball bearings or the axle uh, or any other parts of the central area of the rear wheel that you might find necessary. Most commonly though, it is the ball bearings uh, followed by the axle. So in order to disassemble this wheel, you need to turn it over on its back. Inside each of these four wells is a screw, and you're gonna need to unscrew those. You'll need a longer screwdriver bit in order to get down in there. Once you've unscrewed those screws, it's now possible to remove the front cap. It comes with a large uh, uh, spring. Just set everything aside. Now we can start to remove the axle. In order to remove the axle, you will need a pair of needle nose pliers. There is a lock washer here, right in the center, and there are two holes on uh, either of the pegs of the lock washer. And you just want to place the points of your needle nose pliers, pliers in there and separate uh, the lock washer as you push the axle through. The lock washer is set in a groove in the axle, so it can be a little bit of a fiddly process to get it out properly on all sides so that you can press uh, the axle through. And you can depress the button on the uh, outside of the axle in order to help pull that all the way off. Now you can remove the axle. Again, pressing in this button is how you pull it through things. The reason for that being that there's an internal locking mechanism here, such that when you depress that button, it pulls in these two small balls on either side and thus makes the axle flush. So you can get it through ball bearings and so on. Okay, there is a washer here. So don't lose that either. And now you can get at the ball bearings themselves. You can just pry them out with a screwdriver. Like this. And replace them if they've uh, gone loose or have broken and split apart. In the center is a small metal cylinder that helps to stabilize the axle, so don't make sure not to lose that. The other one is removed in the same manner. Just a matter of prying it out. Like this. So again, most commonly, if you need to replace anything here, it'll be either the ball bearings or it will be the axle itself. Uh, when you have these internally locking axles, um, if they bend a little bit, although this is short, so it tends not to, but if it bends just a little bit, it can mess up the, uh, the whole locking system inside uh, and thus require replacement. Okay, in order to put it back together, you're just reversing the process. Make sure that your ball bearings are in nice and tight. Uh, when you're banging them like that though, make sure you use something so that you don't bang into that black ring and damage the ball bearings themselves. And you just push your axle back through. Do not forget, wait, there was a washer on this side. Just going to put this locking washer back in place. That groove will be right above the ball bearing. Depress that button so that it's easier to get the uh, locking washer down over those balls and just push it down and then with a combination of holding up that axle and pressing down around the lock washer you can eventually find that point at which it uh, slots into the groove.
and it sort of snaps into place once you've found it. Okay, then it's a matter of putting the cap and the spring back in place. Uh, note that during this whole disassembly process, if you would like, if you notice any sort of rust, or uh, it's a good idea anyway, you can use some WD-40 in order to oil up those ball bearings and keep things moving uh, smoothly. Okay, make sure that these pegs line up with the holes for the screws. go and then it's just a matter of screwing it back together don't overdo the screwing you're not going to get a, a satisfying stopping of your screwdriver when it hits just make sure it's screwed in and then uh, stop screwing so that you don't damage the plastic in any case that is how you disassemble the rear wheel of an Upa baby vista in order to replace any parts you might need to most notably the ball bearings or the axle itself we hope that this video has been useful to you and if it has been we ask you to subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future thank you